Hi, good afternoon, guys. We're going to be making a lunch dish today. I hope you can forgive me about the workout. I'm so busy. I've been doing laundry. I've been so busy. So we're going to be doing three workouts next week. We'll do two tummies and one arm and leg because I skipped the tummy today. But I'm just showing you a keto recipe from the Keto Air Fryer Cookbook uh, that I've been doing. You're going to be needing to use a pack of grass-fed beef. Any kind of unfrozen grass-fed beef is good. Um, two tomatoes. This is going to be something to do with the nightshade. A tomato is a nightshade. I didn't know it myself. So, this is a keto recipe. So it's going to be involving two beefsteak tomatoes. We're going to take the middles out and the beef goes inside of the tomato. And then you do it in an air cooker. I'm going to show you how this recipe will go. Two nice sized tomatoes. This is a keto carnivore recipe. Take out as much of the middle as you can. We're not so much worried about the middle. careful not to cut your hand don't don't do it too hard because this knife will go right through the tomato into your hand so you have to be careful not to pick too hard at it you just want to get the insides out you know as good as you can okay so when you have cored out the two tomatoes like that that's where the beef will go in the center of the tomato
prepare the beef that's going to go inside of the uh, tomato. Seem like this is still kind of frozen in the middle. Let me separate out what's not frozen to use. Okay. A little center piece here that's still frozen. Set that to the side. So you're gonna need two large eggs with this meat here, just the meat that's unfrozen. Two large eggs. It calls for bacon bits, but I don't have bacon bits. So we're gonna be using some crumbled up uh, skins to make our breading. Just crumble up some skins and it will make the crunchy part, either skins or bacon. going to use two egg yellows inside of here or you can just use the whole egg if you want to two to three egg yellows just right inside there with the meat I'm only gonna use two eggs because all it is is a mechanism of holding the beef together while it's cooking basically so two egg yellows In our seasoning is crushed red pepper, black pepper, salt, and garlic. I don't think I even have crushed red pepper. I'm just going to use salt. I've got onion powder. And I don't have any crushed red pepper. I'm going to use black pepper. We're going to use salt, onion powder, black pepper, and another type of pepper seasoning. I'm going to use this cilantro lime seasoning. It has cilantro and a little pepper flake in it. Okay. Now, the tomato that you had taken out, you can put that tomato back in there with it as well so you don't waste any of your product. And then at the next point of the episode, you're mixing it all together. You're seasoning your egg, tomato, and your, your skins that will make it crunchy. You can either use skins or bacon. Bacon bits or, you know, real bacon that you took time to cook and crumble up. Not bacon bits, but the bacon that you cooked with the no nitrate bacon like that. Mine's just frozen. I forgot to take it out. Put the tomato right back on in there. Now when this get just about done, you sprinkle cheese on top of it, and that's how it's served. You can do this with four tomatoes. I only have two that I was able to get at the store. Seems like these tomatoes are a little expensive. So I'm going to do two tomatoes, and then I'm going to make two burger patties with the rest of this. It's almost like you're putting a meatloaf inside of your tomato and baking it in your uh, air fryer cooker. Okay, I'm gonna give you the recipe. Put all of the meat in there just like that. When it's just about done, we're gonna sprinkle cheese on top. You can sprinkle cheese and a little bacon bits if you have bacon bits. And that's how it cook, right in the tomato. Beef steak tomato with beef in the middle. Okay. It's a good lunch dish or dinner, you know, whichever one you want to cook it for. Uh, let me see what it's cooking for. It's going to go 375 for five minutes. 
So I'm just going to add it right into the uh, air fryer cooker here. Two beefsteak tomato beef, 375 for five minutes. Sit it in the center. There's really four for this. It calls for four for this recipe, but like I said, I didn't have, I didn't get enough tomatoes because I don't normally eat a tomato. I just want to do these recipes out of here to show you guys. Uh, you can eat keto inexpensive. You don't have to worry about it being expensive. This only this only does ten. It does three seventy five for three eighty. Now the rest of this meat I have in here, I'm just gonna make a patty or something out of it so my son can eat it. Cause he's kind of hungry. Cause all it is is egg mixed with beef, tomato, uh, skins, and seasoning. So I'm gonna make it into one big beef patty. Half the egg already mixed in it, so that's gotta be good, you know. Let him go ahead and eat that while I'm waiting on these little tomatoes. And then this other one over here is frozen, but I'm going to throw it in on the side so we have enough protein for both of us. We'll both get a burger and a tomato. So this double protein. You always want to serve double protein when you're eating hard work, even if you've mixed up some recipe. Always serve a double protein dish because you need it. The body needs it. They're not eating that often. I haven't eaten today at all. All I got was one cup of coffee this morning. It's been kind of busy, but I actually haven't even been hungry, so it doesn't really matter. But when I do eat, I like to eat. That's so super out pretty soon. I try to clean it out once a week when I see I've got a little accumulation of things in there. So I'm going to show you how it come out. It'll come out in one second. It don't take but five minutes to cook. Over here, the other part of the meal is just. Uh, a couple of beef burgers for us both. One half egg and seasoning and tomato in it. And this one is just plain. So we're going to have beef steak tomato and a, uh, and a beef burger. And what I do when I cook these, I add a little butter right on top of it. Because that burger tastes so good with that butter on it. It's a good flavor. Have you ever been to Culver's and had a butter burger? I like that. You know, we don't eat the bread, but we just eat the meat. I was supposed to fast today, but I skipped my fat, my second day of fasting. I got up this morning, and we have so many little snacks around here. I got up this morning eating skins, and I said, that's 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 up my fast right there. But when I thought about it, I said, day Saturday, I'm supposed to be fasting. But that's okay. I'm going to do Wednesday and Saturday of next week. If you mess up and you just have to do another day, do another day. Or do it later in that day. You know, I can actually go later in the day and start it if I wanted to. But still, still do a certain amount of hours, which I think is what I'm going to do. It's lunchtime now. What I think I'm going to do is just start it at, uh, start it at about 4 o'clock, my fast, and let it go from 4 until 4 o'clock dinner time tomorrow, and that's still 24 hours. So if you guys want to have your, your lunch and start your fast at 4 p.m. until 4 p.m. tomorrow, you have a late dinner tomorrow, let me know, because that's what I'm on. I'm going to do 24 hours still. You know, or as soon as I finish this meal, it's going to start my fasting. You can do the same thing. It didn't work out today, but we still can fast. All it is, is you're going to, the rest of the day, you're just going to be drinking liquids, which hopefully in the form of water, because Lord knows you need that. You're just going to be drinking liquids for the rest of the day. Now this burger is breaking up, because it's got that egg in it. He's gonna have a meatloaf burger. So, right 
after I eat this, guys, I'm going right into my fast. So it'll be from uh, probably, I would say, about 3.30 until 3.30 tomorrow. This one is about one something now. So it's going to take me about an hour to cook. And then about an hour to eat and have me a cup of coffee. And I'm going right into my fast. Okay, we didn't do a workout, but let's not miss let's not miss a 24-hour fast that we can do from Saturday into Sunday. Let's not miss that. Okay? Let's stick that out today with each other. You can do it. If I can do it, I know you can do it. Alright, don't let me down. Let me see if I got some cheese. Yeah, that's not done. It's red in the middle. So it's hard to cook beef inside of a tomato. It's going to have to go a little bit longer, guys. Sorry about that. I want to make sure it's done. It said 375, five minutes. I think it needs to go at least about 10 more minutes. I'm going to give you 375, 15 minutes. Just because it's raw meat and it's inside of something. I want to make sure raw meat is done. So what I'm going to do now, because it's just about done, I'm going to add the cheese on it so when it comes out, you guys are going to see how pretty. And all you do is bite into it and eat it. Or either get you a fork, if you want to eat it, get a fork and cut it. You know, some people want to eat with a fork or just pick it up and bite it. Add the cheese right on it now while it's cooking. Pour it can melt over it. We don't keep cheese around here for long. Boy, you gonna see how pretty this is when it come out? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Another thing you can do with this beef steak tomato with the beef in the middle, you can put bacon bits and cheese on top. You could put crunched up skins, you know, something to make it crunchy. So many ways you could do it. Don't forget, guys, we're going into a 24-hour fast right after we have our lunch today. Just remember, later on tonight, I'm not eating until tomorrow. <laughs> Just remember that to yourself. Even if you don't make it all the way to 3 o'clock tomorrow, go as many hours as you can. You know, try to remember tomorrow morning that I'm on a fast, so you just grab your coffee. Don't start eating a big Sunday breakfast. Just grab your coffee. Get ready. So if you get through 24 hour fast tomorrow evening, come dinner time, you might be really hungry. Get ready to eat. Hang in here with me on this guy. You can do this 
Friday night fast overnight. Very easy to do a 24 hour fast. Very easy. My beat is just about done. Look at that. Almost ready. Sizzling, sizzling, right? Beef. Beef, baby. Let me put some salt on it. Just about done. Already salt. It's curry powder. Okay, I'm around here. Watch. I need to see if I'm going to go in the kitchen. So, so cook a little something. Put a little ease for a few minutes. You're going to see how beautiful this tomato is going to be. Tomato is going to be with that cheese in it. I don't eat tomato like that, but I do like um, cauliflower and uh, greens and stuff like that. But, uh, I got one cauliflower and I was going to show you today a recipe with it because I don't want to have to throw it out. Okay, this is ready. But uh, I haven't, I got to look for it. But I'll probably show you Monday. Because tomorrow I'm just going to be making chicken. Tomorrow night for dinner. I'll show you the cauliflower recipe Monday. It's have it wrong there. All it is, is cauliflower, a yellow egg, and it's some avocado. And it's served on a a uh, toasty piece of toast. That's all the recipe is. It's a piece of toast with an avocado spread on it, cauliflower, and eggs. One egg or two eggs. And that's the recipe for dinner. It's really simple. So I may do that with you guys on Monday. So, not today. This piece of hamburger. Son plate. I'm gonna show you how I plate it up. As soon as I get that uh, tomato out of here, I put that in there. This is my plate. You see how it's coming? That's cool. I'll show you how it's plated up. This is a very good dish, easy to make. Showed you how to make it. So. This is what you do. You just sit it on your plate like so. And it's beef inside of a tomato. And this is just the rest of the beef that I made. Okay. This is mine. This is beef steak tomato. this you want to cut into it to make sure done a little hot sauce on there Dab of mayonnaise on it, give it a good fat, you know. I'm gonna start this mayonnaise. Okay, so let's show you what we got with this beef steak tomato. You want to eat it, you know, how you love to eat it, but you cut it and see if it's done. If it's not done, then you may have to cook some more because see, that's red, that's not done. Yeah, that's got to go back in. Let me check this out. Yeah, that's tomato red. See that? It's hard to cook this in the air cooker. I got to put it back in. It's red in the middle. It's supposed to be completely done through. So I'm going to let it go on about 15 more minutes. But you got the premise of how to make it. You just have to leave it in the air fryer a very long time. But see, that's not done. 
I'm not going to eat a, a half cooked burger inside of a tomato. But anyway, I'm going to let it go about 15 or 20 more minutes. Thanks for joining me.